You've also written a piece call, on The Voice called Truth, Treaty or Trickery, The Why Behind The Voice. Now, it's been a particularly bad week for Albanese on The Voice. Not only did Western Australia have to ditch its Aboriginal cultural heritage laws due to them, we suspect, damaging sentiment toward The Voice, the truth about the Uluru Statement from the heart has made it into the public domain and people are freaking out. Lyle, is this referendum about a simple, toothless acknowledgement of Aboriginal people, or are we dealing with the full treaty, truth-telling, spear-stabby thing and a system yeah. of separatist politics? Yeah, we're definitely dealing with the, the latter, Ellie. Um, uh, we're being lied to by the government, by the Prime Minister, who said four times on Ben Fordham's radio show a few weeks ago in that famous train wreck interview that this is not about treaty. He said it four times. And, of course, members of his own government have been out there saying, well, yes, it is about truth and treaty and, and uh, you know, voice truth and treaty. It's a package deal. And, of course, uh, the Uluru Statement of the Heart uh, has been revealed to be uh, more than this one-page, you know, Gettysburg-esque, like, address. It's nothing like that. The Gettysburg Address was an incredible address by Abraham Lincoln bringing two uh, warring people together in incredibly conciliatory terms. Um, the, the Uluru Statement from the Heart, even its one-page version, is all about dividing us. It's about Aboriginal spirituality in the Constitution. It's about sovereignty, which is separatism and dividing us as a nation, uh, not to mention uh, all the stuff that that's in the longer documents that back it up about reparations and uh, wanting to make uh, you know previous gener or make this generation pay uh, the price for the mistakes of the past. Um, this is a terrible thing. We are being tricked into it, and uh, more and more it's coming to light. But but Ellie, I really worry that the fifty million dollars that the Yes campaign has in the bank, uh, when they start rolling that out, uh, a disengaged uh, population may well fall for it.